Hi, I'm Rashid, coach, speaker and author. I'm just going to invite you just to take a little bit of time now that we're heading into the final days of this year to review your year. You know, very often at this time we watch the news reviews, we watch the entertainment reviews, but often we don't do the one review that's important to do, and that's the review of your life, because there's nothing more important and you're the key character, and that's what we're going to do now. So you might want to take a piece of paper, or you might just want to sit with this review and just bring all these things to mind. So let's start off, you know, what's gone really well for you this year? personally, at home, and in your work. You know, very often we focus on the things that we don't have, or the things that haven't gone well, or the things that need to be achieved. We don't give ourselves credit for everything that we have done, what we are, and what we have achieved. So bring all those things to mind now. What is it that you're really pleased about? Once you've done that, I want you to focus on what have been the challenges this year. What are the things that haven't gone so well, perhaps for you personally, perhaps for you professionally, perhaps in terms of other challenges or your health and well-being, what have been the challenges this year? And perhaps give yourself credit for that too, then perhaps there have been major challenges, major setbacks you've had to manage. Give yourself credit for all of that. Sometimes just being here is an achievement in itself. And what's been the learning from this year? Again, very often we don't stop to take that time to learn and to absorb what the learning has been. What's been the learning? What is it that you can apply? And what have been the highlights for you of this year? And now as we head toward the end of this very, very short review, I just want you to think about what the two or three things that are most important to you and that need to be addressed, perhaps personally, at home, in your relationships, in your work, your career and your business for the year ahead. What's the support or the resources or the learning that you're going to need to go through in order to address those particular priorities? So just write all that down. And so just over the next couple of days, you might want to just spend a little bit more time just refocusing and reviewing so that you can become refocused, re-energised and to look ahead for the year ahead. And on that note, I just want to wish you all the best for the rest of this year and for the year ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.